Hey everyone, quick back at Mr. Basics here. Let's talk about the difference between phalanx and Benedict's test. Both phalanx and Benedict's test are used to quantify the amount of glucose present in the urine. However, there are several differences which are to be considered. The Felling's test uses two solutions, Felling A and Felling B. The Felling A is a solution of copper sulfate, while Felling B is a solution of potassium sodium tartrate along with alkali like NaOH. Both Felling A and Felling B must be mixed together before carrying out the reaction. On the other hand, Benedict's test is a test which uses a solution of copper sulfate, sodium carbonate and sodium citrate all mixed in a single tube. The alkali used in Felling's test is sodium hydroxide while the alkali used in Benedict's test is sodium carbonate. The active component in Felling's test is copper tartrate complex while the active component in Benedict's test is copper citrate complex. The copper tartrate complex is less stable while the copper citrate complex is highly stable. Because of this reason, Felling's reagents must be prepared fresh, while Benedict's reagents are stable and can be stored for a long time. In Felling's test, the reaction is carried out by heating the solution at 60 degrees Celsius for a few minutes, while in case of Benedict's test, the reaction is carried out by boiling the solution for a few minutes. In Felling's test, the blue color of copper sulfate is converted to red or brick red precipitate of copper oxide. While in case of Benedict's test, the blue color of copper sulfate is converted to green, yellow, orange or red brown in color depending on the concentration of sugar.